Hi there, this is Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader and Exotic Gardening Farm. Uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of a, a video today, uh, an update of uh, a little bit of the work that we're doing on our homestead at the moment. Um, we're a little behind schedule on stuff, but we are still working um, <laughs> and working on stuff. Uh, this is this is an area that we uh, just got planted today. Um, last weekend I put up this fence um, because last year we had uh, some major issues. We planted green beans and they were just starting to come up and, and starting to look nice and suddenly uh, some animal, I suspect deer, uh, came through and just obliterated our green beans. So this year we decided to go ahead and put up some fencing around where we were going to plant our green beans um, in an attempt to deter the deer. Uh, now this front gate is a little low. Uh, deer will be able to go over it easily, um, but we're not done yet. Uh, we're probably going to put like um, some rope or something across the top um, that we can duck under, uh, but that we'll... Uh, possibly slow down a deer, um, make it sink, make it think twice. Um, but we did, uh, get our green beans planted today. Um, we planted up, uh, we've got 10 rows of green beans in here. Um, it's not a large area. It's not as much as we normally, uh, plant for our green beans. Uh, but after last year's disaster, we, uh, just kind of Wanted to take a little easier, um, you know, try to protect them better. Um, we also have to deal with some groundhogs in the area, so I'm hoping that the fence will uh, slow them down a little bit as well. Um, I don't know for sure, um, but we'll have evidence if they go under the fence, you know, they'll, they'll dig under and we'll see that they've dug under and we'll know that it's groundhogs rather than deer. Um, I've got soaker hoses running right now. Um, I do have a leak at a splice in the soaker hose that I'm going to have to fix tomorrow. Uh, I don't have any tools with me at the moment to be able to fix that. Um, but we got our, our green beans planted. Um, and the soaker hoses uh, run around the green beans. Um, so as to try and get some, some water on them. Uh, forecast says it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I don't know for sure that that's going to happen. Uh, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, we'll probably be back up here planting some more. We also went around the outside here planting some tomatoes. Now, we had the tomato plants were, were doing really well down in the basement in our uh, grow tent. Um, and then things got late in the season. You know, it, it got... Instead of having them out here early May or at least by Mother's Day... Um, you know, things got delayed. Um, they spent, I guess, probably too much time down in the grow tent, uh, in the basement. Um, we didn't, I guess we didn't tend to them quite as well as we should have. Um, but they, they're not doing terrible. You know, they, they, a couple of them are kind of stunted a little bit. That's not good. Okay, let's fix that. Well, that one may, hopefully that one will recover. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, we, we've got some tomatoes. They're, they're hopefully going to recover from, because they were doing really well. Uh, we've got a bunch more to plant. Um, several, a couple of them are uh, doing much better than these. So, but we'll see. Um, but we've put cages around them. Um, I still need to put some fence posts. Um, I'm going to use some of these, these orange fiberglass fence posts uh, to stabilize the, uh, the larger tomato cages. Uh, we've got just the small round ones for some of them. Uh, we kind of alternated between uh, our tomato cages. Um, and uh, But we've got, you know, we've got water up here. We've got them planted. Um, and I think they'll recover and, and do okay. Um, and I think the ones that we still have to plant, um, 
are going to do okay. Um, you know, it's not as many tomato plants as we like to plant a lot of times. Uh, it wasn't as much green beans as we like to plant. Um, but we did plant the green beans pretty close together. Um, and I think we, we kind of maybe overseeded in some ways. So if they all germinate, which we know they're not all going to, but if they germinate properly um, and we get the majority of them to germinate, we'll have lots of plants. Um, it'll fill in real tight in here and uh, we'll probably get a good harvest out of this. Um, I think the tomatoes will do okay. Uh, I think we'll get the rest of them planted up. Um, it just, I mean, I took time off at the beginning of May. Uh, I had a four day weekend at the, in, for the first of May. And I managed to do some weed eating for about four hours one day and the rest of the time it was raining and it actually snowed on the 1st of May. Um, so being able to get out here, get the garden tilled, get, you know, stuff set up and planted like we wanted, just kept getting delayed. Uh, the weather just did not cooperate. Um, you know, about the time I had time to get out here, it would rain. Um, and then, you know, we have to wait for it to dry. Um, I did manage to get tilled out here. Oops, fingers in the camera. Um, I got, I got some of the tilling done. Um, I also struggled with, you know, my equipment a little bit. Uh, I'm still battling, uh, with my big tiller, um, the, uh, it's a rear tine rider and it just doesn't have the proper weight in the back to dig down into the ground real well at the moment. Uh, so I'm working on coming up with some better, um, so some additional weight added to the tiller so that it bites better, um, so I can get a deeper tilling, um, Although eventually, uh, ultimately what we'd like to do is go with a no-till uh, situation. Um, but for now, um, you know, we're doing what we can uh, with what we have. Um, I was up here with a push tiller for a while. Um, I did, it, the ground was, by the time I got up here, the ground was dry and hard. So it didn't till real well. <laughs> so... You know, it goes from being too wet to being too dry. So it just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling finding that happy medium. Um, but, uh, but this turned out pretty good, I think. Um, we'll have to wait and see how um, ultimately it works out, uh, whether we actually get a good yield. Um, but I think we will. And we've got, you know, additional soaker hose. So I have to, um, run the rest of the garden with um you know and that way you know i mean we're, we're planting more tomatoes we're going to plant some uh, pepper plants um and i don't know what else she has planned um i think we're going to do um just some flowers um along the outside edge of, of the garden along over here uh outside the fence just to add you know something on the outside of the fence to deter animals um, you know, and just to, to add, you know, maybe a little color. Um, but you know, just, just little things here and there. Um, I also spent part of the day today, um, cleaning out a goat stall. Um, and so my morning was, was busy basically with the goat stall. It was, uh, evening before we got up here. Um, and, uh, the goat stall, I mean, I, I, I basically cleaned it out, but I haven't got it all the way uh, out of the barn um, and up here. Um, I may use some of it uh, on this garden here for the green beans, um, but I think most of it's probably gonna go up on our potatoes. We, we planted potatoes last year um, and they actually came back this year. We didn't get any potatoes last year. We, did, we thought they'd all died, um, but we came out this spring and we actually have sprouts we have we actually have big tomato plant or to, uh, potato plants growing 
uh, but I need to get them buried again, covered up. Um, they've, they've broken through the, uh, the stuff that I put on them earlier to uh, try and cover them up. And uh, they're, they're growing like mad, really. So I've got to get them, uh, you know, covered again, mounded up. Uh, and uh, I've got lots of, of uh, goat and chicken waste that I can use to uh, do that with. Uh, I just have to uh, actually do it. So uh, if it does not rain tomorrow, uh, we will probably be planting more tomatoes, like I said, and I will get the, uh, the potatoes covered up again um, so that they can continue to grow and maybe we'll actually uh, be able to harvest some potatoes um, later on. Um, that would be nice to have our own potatoes. Um, Hopefully the tomatoes recover and uh, grow. Uh, I mean, in the past, we have had times where um, a couple years ago we planted the tomatoes and we had tomato plants that were up over five feet tall. They were, they were between five and six feet tall tomato plants. So we had all sorts of tomatoes growing off of those. Um, Sherry, of course, we, we harvest them. Um, she has figured out how to, we, uh, we cut them, we wedge them up, put them in freezer bags and freeze them. Uh, and then when we have the opportunity, we pull them out, thaw them, juice them, and then she cans the juice. So, uh, we have tomato juice later on that can be used for making ketchup or barbecue sauce or pasta sauce or whatever else that we need that's a tomato base. And, uh. You know, so we have our tomatoes, we have, you know, the, the green beans. She loves to, to can up green beans. Um, ultimately, she tries to uh, get, oh, at least like 100 quarts of green beans canned up a year um, or more. Um, and that way we make it through uh, from one season to the next with uh, home canned green beans, uh, which you just can't beat. Um, the, uh, the store-bought stuff just doesn't compare. So, but, uh, you know, we made some progress today. Uh, hopefully tomorrow doesn't rain and we can get out here and make some more progress. Maybe I can get some more of the barn cleaned up. Um, you know, get the chickens taken care of. Um, and, uh, we've been, our, our chickens have been producing, they've been laying eggs, um, actually all winter long. Uh, we didn't get a lot through the winter, but we were getting, you know, two or three eggs a day from the chickens through the winter. Um, now they are laying um, a lot more. Uh, we don't have a lot of chickens. We're, we're oh, about 15 or so chickens, and we're getting about a dozen eggs a day, though, uh, from our 15 hens. Um, I haven't actually counted to see just how many we have. Uh, I did lose a couple through the winter, um, so I'm not I'm not positive what we have left. Uh, I haven't counted. Uh, they're kind of hard to count sometimes. They run around like, you know, they do. So, but uh, anyways, um, hopefully I'll be able to check back in tomorrow with some more progress, and uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how things go. So, uh, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, stay safe out there.